So now welcome to the part two. Here we have a brief introduction of special strain, but uh, for detail we discuss in the histopathology topic. So first is pass. That is periodic acid acid strain. It is a strain which stains the polysaccharide in the cell wall fungi, and fungi stain is pink red with a blue nuclei. Fungi usually is red or purple in color, or background is a blue in color. Another is germ stain. Generally fungi are gram positive. But actinomycetes and uh, nocardia are gram variable. Papnoclaus stain. It is a stain to differentiate dimorphic fungi. Pap stain mainly used for respiratory tract samples such as sputum, bile, etc. for the identification of fungal element. So fungi, you can see in the picture, some important technique used in mycology are slide culture. It is a rapid method for culturing fungal cloning for examination and identification. In a slide culture, we are growing the fungi directly on the slide on a thin film of agar. It permits fungi to be studied with a minimal distribution of the spores bearing fungi for accurate identification of the fungus. Procedure Take a filter paper and U shaped glass or in a petri dish. Place a trial green glass slide over it. Now cut a thin square shape of agar from a culture plate. Transfer the plug of agar into slide. Inoculate the edge of agar with 3 to 4 sides with small fragment of fungal cloning. Place a trial cover slip on a plug of agar. Moisture the filter paper with the trial distilled water. Incubate culture as required. We usually incubate at a room temperature for 48 hours. So, main thing is that do hold pressure with aseptically. So, another important thing is that what we should do after incubation. So, after incubation, we take up LCB stain. In a clean microscope slide, remove a cover slip from a agar and we also fix the cover slip with alcohol put in the drop of LCB on a slide. Now examine under microscope. Another important thing is germ tube test. This is a procedure which is used to differentiate Candida albicans from other yeast. It is mainly positive for Candida albicans and Candida WNCs. So the germ tube solution contains triptych soya broth, petal bovine serum. We also use human serum essential nutrients for the synthesis of protein. The principle for germ tube test is formation of germ tube is due to increasing of protein synthesis by utilizing ingredients in germ tube solution. So the procedure for germ tube is emulsify a small amount of yeast culture in a tube of germ tube solution. Now incubate the tube for 1 hour at 35 degrees Celsius. Now take a drop of serum from the germ tube solution and put on a clean glass side. Cover the side with cover slip and observe under microscope for germ tube formation. If germ tube are not seen, re-incubate as long as additional 2 hours but not more than 2 hours and follow the steps such as take a drop and observe under microscope. One important thing is that a test is examined within 3 hours because yeast develops pseudo hyphae after long term incubation. This is the germ tube. Limitation is that Candida tropicalis may also develop pseudo hyphae. In vitro hair test. This is a test used to differentiate trichophyton mentagophytes and trichophyton rubrum. It is also known as a hair perforation test for dermatophytes. So the requirement for hair perforation test is style human hair, style distilled water, style forceps, 10% style yeast solution, style battery dishes. So the procedure for hair perforation test is that put short strand of clean hair human hair in glass battery dish. Sterilize with autoclave for 15 minutes at 125 degrees Celsius. Add 15 to 20 ml of style distilled water. Add 2 to 3 drops of style yeast extract of 10%. Add several fragments of fungal culture being tested. Incubated at room temperature. Examine up to 7 to 14 days. So examination is done with put a 1 to 2 drop of LCB in the center of glass side. Remove a strand of hair from the plate and transfer it to glass side. Mount it and examine under microscope. So the positive one is trichophyton mentagophytes and negative one is trichophyton rubrum.